Okay, um, welcome everybody. Uh, I guess most of you have, um, have experienced or watched uh, or talked about um, Bandersnatch, the interactive episode and, um, uh, of Black Mirror. Netflix and HBO and other platforms, they're uh, exploring new ways of uh, storytelling. They're putting efforts on interactive storytelling. But um, um, our feeling is that uh, probably would, uh, we are in a very early stage of interactive storytelling. Today we have with, uh, with us uh, Timur, which uh, probably is one of the most advanced explorers of these new possibilities on interactive storytelling. He's the inventor of um, Screen Live, uh, which is a, a new technique that, uh, uh, where you can uh, live uh, uh, stories, no? um, uh, entirely to told uh, from the vantage of a computer or of, uh, an, uh, an iPhone screen, and um, which uh, uh, are very immersive. So, um, just to tell you a little bit more about Timur, Timur is um, a Hollywood director and a Screen Lab founder. Uh, his work spans uh, genres and, uh, and continents. Uh, he has produced award-winning films, uh, for example, uh, Wanted with Angelina Jolie, uh, Unfriended or um, uh, Searching, uh, that was uh, awarded at, um, at the Sundance Festival. So, uh, Timur, I, I suppose that uh, these people here are asking themselves uh, what exactly is a, a screen life. So, how would you define screen life? Uh, I, I, th I think it's quite easy to explain. Uh, and today's, today we live uh, on our screens. We spend half of our life uh, staring on the screen of your uh, device, uh, like a mobile phone or computer screen. And it means, like for, for example, I'm spending six hours a day, and it means uh, half of events of my, my life uh, happening on screen, not in physical world. And, uh, and there's no way you can tell story about today's uh, uh, life without showing uh, uh, my screen about my life, which means I'm falling, I'm just saying I love you, or I'm, uh, uh, I don't know, making moral choices, and uh, I'm robbing bank, or I'm uh, saving the world. It's all happening on screen today, because the guys with the guns uh, in the bank saying, just give me a cash, it's not relevant anymore because there is no, ca there is no money in the bank anymore, it's all, all numbers. And uh, more uh, a contemporary version of the gangster, it's a person with a, with a mobile phone across the street in, 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 in Starbucks uh, hacking the bank. It's, mm -hmm. and, uh, and there's no way you can understand today's life without uh, seeing uh, our screens. And uh, I learned this like seven years ago, maybe, first time, and, and I made a, a first movie, it was called Unfriended. Uh, uh, we shot it in Los Angeles, and it was uh, surprisingly successful for the, for the industry. Uh, it was distributed by, by Universal, and there was a 75 million views for, uh, of the trailer, and then, it, it was distributed all around the world and made some money as a, as a movie. But uh, it was just the beginning of the uh, uh, of the uh, our uh, format. We call it we calling it screen life. Uh, and uh, th since then, I made seven movies the same type. And every movie we made, winning uh, and uh, winning uh, the same prize on every festival. It calls uh, audience award prize. Jury never gave us a price, and only audience, and uh, and it's very simple. This this is the movies where the story in, entirely takes place on computer screen. Uh, nobody believed that people will will go to see this kind of movies in the theater, but I was right. Uh, people watching it, and uh, it's very uh, entertaining. And the logic is very simple because when you see somebody on the screen, somebody on the screen you really understand the person. You really, you are kind of inside the person. You are not uh, like a third person POV, uh, like a traditional movie. Uh, you, are, you see what the character says. And, uh, 
and it's like a voiceover. It's like uh, you are inside inside him inside the character, and uh, we're producing now 30, 30 movies. We found investors now, and uh, uh, the second movie uh, 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 was released was a sequel for Unfriended, the same Universal, and then we uh, we released a movie called Searching uh, via Sony, uh, Screen Jam, and uh, a movie called Searching, and was made it made I don't know seventy five million dollars in theaters, and now it's on uh, on in digital on digital platforms, uh, and uh, what I learned producing this movie that uh, this movie is it's why I'm here, uh, 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 because this movie is organically interactive. Because when you see the uh, uh, Bandersnatch, yeah, when you see the movie on Netflix, uh, and and there is interactivity in it, but it's very, it's like a filter. It's on top. It's physical world is not interactive. I cannot click <laughs> in you. Yeah, uh, I cannot click this battle because it's it's physical space. It's not clickable. Uh, and uh, clickability is just a layer added to the movie. But in our case, when the story takes place on computer screen, then the movie organically interactive. Like you don't need to teach people where to click; they will, they know. And uh, and I really believe that the our language uh, uh, became a new word in the in, in the film industry, and I believe it will be uh, very effective in game industry. Uh, we. Let let me show you the uh, a very quick two minutes uh, presentation of screen life. You will understand better than oh, yeah. Let's than, the video. than me. It's yeah, and I think the sound. It's important. No, there is no sound. <laughs> Screen Life is a new format of visual content. Developed as an idea used for indie films and web clips, Screen Life is now being used to produce content with worldwide distribution, like full-length movies, documentaries, and TV shows. In a sense, Screen Life is a distinct and powerful new genre that allows you to reveal what's usually hidden, the private consciousness. Your computer or phone say a lot about you, and we get to know the protagonist better looking at how desktop folders are arranged, the way the cursor moves. Baby, why is it so clean? Because my mother always said, the order on your table is the order in your head. With a choice of browser and messenger, screen life is truly contemporary, with a unique cultural importance, since today, history is often created on the screens of various devices. Even the way we see and react to these things, it all happens on screens. There are so many questions that are revealed using this medium. What does personal mean today? How do ethics work? What is freedom? Today, when reality can be separated from the digital world and its interfaces, these questions grow to concern us all. It's more important than ever to remember the way we communicate, changes our perception, and influences the message itself. The experience of interacting with interfaces is one we all share regardless of wealth, status, political stance, religion, or gender. Life on the screen is not simply a metaphor. There are fears, dramas, rules, and myths created by us. The screen is an extension of ourselves. Okay, this is a this is a uh, this is language we're talking about, and uh, and I, uh, we when we made the first movie, uh, we just developed this language, and it was very difficult to uh, to believe that the audience will follow uh, follow the narrative, but uh, suddenly we learn that to see the face, the ac the actor's face, the character face is not as important as. To see the, the how a mouse moves, how the how the character is typing, how typing delete, deletes and type again, and and it's uh, uh, following this process, you really uh, uh, engaged in the sto in the story, mm -hmm. and uh, we we but then we learned that uh, the the tools we we made the movies, but we made the movies with traditional tools like uh, After Effects or. Final Cut, the traditional uh, and uh, screen flow, the, the traditional recorders, but then we learned that it's not enough, and we 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 began 
uh, uh, researchers and, uh, um, and develop the, uh, the, the tools, our own unique tools. And one of the tools we developed calls uh, a screen life recorder. It's a recorder uh, allowing us to record not, uh, not video, but to record the uh, code before the video card, because usually the, uh, uh, like any recorder recording just screen, what you see on screen, but we're recording the code behind it. And, uh, and in this, this uh, invention, we've got a two, two patents in America, uh, this invention uh, helps us not only to record uh, the picture, but also to record all the pro properties and, and all the elements could be adjustable uh, when you produce the movie. And also, this uh, content could be targeted. Like every viewer will uh, ha will see uh, 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 his own uh, movie, his own version of the movie. A and it's uh, then we tested it, and uh, we learned that uh, that the uh, engagement. Do you know, like like when you see click through rate, like engagement. Uh, is like 50 times uh, uh, more uh, bigger than uh, the norm. Like every second person watching our our re recordings, screen life recordings, they are they are interacting with the, with the, with the, with the, with the content. And it's it's what it's why I'm here, and it's why I believe that uh, this language and this format and this technology could be even more effective in the gaming world than in traditional. Storytelling. That I wanted to ask you. You know, it, it is clear that um, that this is new storytelling format. That uh, it's a new language, as you were saying. Probably is, is uh, it adds more interaction than uh, um, examples as Bandersnatch or uh, uh, Mosaic uh, from HBO. But um, how do you? What are the possibilities of taking this uh, new format to to gaming? I mean, uh, how, could, how can you imagine? Uh, um, Give some examples. No, that okay. Uh, we will just show you an example. For example, one of the projects we producing now it's a 40 episodes uh, web series based on the uh, holy book. It's a mm -hmm. it's a like an old testimony, and uh, we uh, we tested and we produced one one uh, episode now uh, as a as an interactive. Like when you not only following the Bible, you are also have a Choices like why Bob, why God created us. Oh, just you're you're playing us, God. Yeah, you're playing you know, the characters. <laughs> sometimes God, sometimes the the the, the like uh, Abraham or or Moses or. Okay. And uh, we probably will show you the piece uh, just to in this, to, sh to let you feel to let you tr uh, uh, see the possibilities. Can we play? It's a one episode just. Uh, uh, the first episode, the pilot of this uh, show. In the very beginning, before God made anything, there was nothing except God. No people or places or things. Nothing. No light and no darkness. Then... God spoke. Let there be light. You, you can move your finger and... And there was light. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And the evening and the morning were the first day. On the second day, God brought the waters of the oceans, seas, and lakes into order under heaven. On the third day, God said, Let the dry land appear. And it happened. God also commanded the grass and flowers and shrubs and trees to appear. Then God made the sun and the moon and so many stars that nobody can count them. Sea creatures and fish and birds were next on God's list. What can I help you with? He said, let the earth bring forth uh, living creatures. Every kind of animal and insect and reptile came into being. But there were earth-shaking elephants and busy beavers, mischievous monkeys and clumsy crocodiles, gangly giraffes and purring pussycats. 
Uh, now wait a second. Uh, nope. Nope. Uh, no. Uh, let's go with this one. God did something else on the sixth day. Something very special. Pig, uh, <laughs> human. <laughs> okay, then you can pick the push. Yeah, you should push the button. Sure. Everything was now ready for man, and God said, "Let us make man in our image." Let him be Lord over everything on the earth. God spoke to Adam, eat what you wish from the garden, but do not eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. If you eat from that tree, you will surely die. And the Lord God said, it is not good that man should be alone. I will make a helper for him. God brought all the birds and beasts to Adam. Yeah, you can pick. Uh... <laughs> God brought all the birds and beasts to Adam. Okay, uh, okay. you should probably click to pick one. Uh, this is a, the long story, as you know, it's like. But the... among all the birds and beasts, okay. There was no suitable partner for Adam. Вы себе это как представляете? There was no suitable partner for Adam. We can, well, we, yeah, we, yeah, we, can, we, we should we stop. stop. Yeah, it's a, it's a long Вы story. Вы себе это как представляете? <laughs> yeah. Uh, this, is a, this is just an example how screen life could be uh, used uh, uh, as interactive uh, language device but i guess we, what we've seen here is like a gameplay where you make choices but uh um and uh i've seen that there are more possibilities there are more much more game mechanics you can uh, uh use on, on on screen life yeah because uh for example uh you can branch you can create uh, uh you can just derail the the this, this the famous book mm -hmm. and it, you can just uh, enter the the world the strange world with the different uh creations and uh and also uh you can uh, allow audience to create their own world mm -hmm. and make their own uh, uh their own moral choices and it's uh it could be it could it could it could uh give you possibility to play and uh with with the with the famous uh stories what 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 would you say that is a difference um, for example there are games like a normal phone or an old lost phone or a red no that uh they 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 tell a story about uh, a, a phone that has the, the, that was lost, and uh, you have to figure out like the story. You know, what would be the difference, for example, of telling that story uh, through screen life? Because of, uh, uh, this kind of st some stories, uh, some stories specifically important for specifically uh, uh, connected with the screen life. For example, the story about like we can just improvise now. Somebody found the mobile phone. Does no who owns it will click and then will learn this person killed himself mm -hmm. yeah and then he will try to uh, the character will try to you will try to figure out uh, to use somehow you can call you can mm -hmm. use this phone as normal and then suddenly you learn that the calls you are making exactly the same calls your previous the previous owner <laughs> did it and then you learn that little by little you're following the 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 steps of the of the uh, previous owner and you're moving toward the this very dangerous ending, scary. It's like it's a movie, Polanski movie called Tenant, for mm -hmm. example. What I just used this uh, this example, and then finally you will jump from the window, and the same way as a, as a as a uh, character, the pre previous owner did. It's a game. Try to escape from the fate. Yeah, like mm -hmm. like the fate, and then you. What doesn't matter what you do. You get, you're receiving the same calls. Some because uh, uh, some. But here, for example, you can pick. 
Adam, not from the, uh, 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 the face, not from the, f uh, 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 whatever, old painting. You can use your Yours. photo or, and it, it, there is a lot of possibilities. And uh, honestly, I'm not the, I'm not the game developer. <laughs> I know this is a, a story, I'm a storyteller. And I think why I'm here, because uh, there is a possibility to find partners who can uh, develop our ideas and, and we can collaborate to make very, very uh, 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 engaging. But then from your experience, then um, here there are a lot of um, game developers. Uh, what would you say there's, uh, how different it is to write for a film uh, than writing or a, um, a theater, a play or a, a game and writing for screen live? It, uh, there is no difference for traditional uh, storytelling and the uh, and screen life storytelling it's, it's just, has the same rules. The difference is in traditional storytelling you are dealing with the uh, with uh, this reality, with the like physical space, and with the uh, 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 um, imitation because you you're watching you're looking at the screen and the screen is like reality, but it's not. It's a, it's mm -hmm. it's a fake. Any 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 traditional uh, movie it's a it's a it's a like a it's a lie because there is nothing in the screen. <laughs> it's just an uh, image. But in our case, we are we are much more uh, uh, how to say honest <laughs> because you are real. You are interacting with the real uh, screen like world. You know what I mean. And, and but the stories are exactly the same. I, I uh, we're developing like 30, 30 movies now, TV show, web series, and uh, and it's all every every. Story every every pro, every project. It's about some the part of our screen life, like how we uh, how like one of the stories. It's based on Cyrano de Bergerac, famous play, where the boy helping his friend to to uh, to seduce the girl uh, in the internet online, and then suddenly fall in love with her himself and trying to figure out what to do. And its story happened online. Or the movie I made called Profile. It's a story about. Uh, a, a journalist uh, uh, investigating how uh, terrorists recruiting girls in Europe, mm -hmm. and uh, she she just uh, uh, opened the uh, Facebook account like she's 19 years old convert, and uh, and 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 started this conversation with a with a recruiter, and and this this whole stories. Uh, the difference is this: we are, we, are make, we make movie about stories happening uh, uh, online on screens. Okay, so um, let's say that um, screen life could be described as a, an engine uh, for interactive storytelling. It's an engine. Uh, it's a language. Mm -hmm. uh, it's uh, it's uh, uh, because we learn how to tell the stories. It's not easy. I mean, it's everyone can do it because it's the cheapest probably. Uh, cheapest uh, uh, and most effective uh, uh, format for filmmaking mm -hmm. uh, because it, it costs nothing. You just need your computer and, and recorder. And that, 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 uh, that, was, that was going to be my point. Is It's an engine to tell interactive stories with game mechanics. So uh, let's suppose that uh, I want to uh, I have this idea for um, uh, an interactive story uh, and what do I have to do? Do I have to uh, get into screen live? Do I have to download a program? What do I have to do? No, 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 no. no theoretically, you can do everything yourself. Just hire a lot of designers and do it. Okay. What we know, we know, we, we learn how to tell the stories and we have a lot of stories uh, in, our, in, in our projects. We can easily convert our movies into uh, into uh, into games because, for example, uh, the Unfriended movie. Uh, I don't know. Probably you've seen the movie. Uh, it's it's a, it's about the uh, six uh, classmates and they attacked by ghosts. The girl uh, died a year ago and uh, and she came back as a ghost and killed them. This is a game because uh, uh, you can fight with you can fight with a ghost. You can you can try to negotiate with the ghost. You can try to stop her. And it will all happen uh, online, mm -hmm. uh, and and, uh, and it will all happen on your computer. Uh, you just need to figure out the story, the story and the in in the uh, uh, and the game rule, like the rules of the world. I, I, every every movie we develop potentially is a, is a game or immersive movie. I don't know how you call it, interactive movie, immersive movie or or game. 
But uh, as a, um, um, uh, my question was more, if, as a game developer, how can I develop a story on screen life? Uh, the same way, you just need to tell, st like what you do traditionally. You're trying to recreate the world in the game, uh, uh, the physical space. But do, but do I need to use some uh, special software? Uh, you, yes, we, you, you, you need, you will need some special software. Uh, or you should, or you will program everything by hands. Mm -hmm. But what we developed, we developed the tools helping you to record tools. Uh, you oh. record screens like tradition. Like the first movie we made, Unfriended, it was just like an animated movie. Like we wrote the story, and then we animated mouse. We we we, we animated the like, typing and and some videos, and it was like a big heavy uh, animated like a lot of. Uh, a uh, 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 lot of a lot of stuff happened uh, in my head, and then we just executed it. But profile the, the the latest movie, it was done differently because we developed this recorder, and the actor can play, and we just recorded the takes, and then we cut the takes, and and it's it's more. Uh, Relatable because it's not animator; it's just real actor acting. Mm -hmm. Like, and the good actor will be much more dramatic, I mean, much more interesting to to follow than than the bad actor. It's like, and for example, if we, uh, if we're in the in the middle of editing, we had an idea. Oh, let's just change the story. I just call the actor, and and she retyped. For example, mm -hmm. <laughs> she changed the story, and we cut it into the movie. It's it's very recorder is really helpful, and also we can uh, we have another uh, tool called Layers. Uh, it's a plugin for Final Cut, and this plugin can help to uh, uh, to make clickable traditional uh, screencast. Like mm -hmm. you can record screencast. Uh, with the with the traditional like tools, a, a Twitter. Uh, yeah, and then you can you can put the you can make it clickable because because our uh, you can um, how say pick the objects yeah uh, and just add some properties to it. And are these tools already available? For yeah, we we have it. We 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 partnering with the different uh, people, and we just we happy to give it to 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 try to to use. Are you um, actually developing uh, any any games? No, we we developing uh, mostly like in, in immersive movies, interactive movies, mm -hmm. because games is a different uh, world. There's you need to be you need to be pro in what you're doing. But uh, so um, uh, let's say what um, how what would you say to game developers to to not to use uh, to use screen life? Well, what would be we, uh, Why would be they interested in, in, in using screen life? Because because it's uh, very good. For example, for casual games, because for casual games, I mean, based on the uh, our screen life uh, behavior, like how we text, getting like calls. Because for example, from the beginning, if you will uh, log in into the game mm -hmm. by sending message, yeah, mm -hmm. uh, then you can. Get back the password to begin the game, and then in the middle of the game you can get you can you can receive a call or you can receive message on your mobile phone, and it will be it will be part of the gaming world. Mm -hmm. We can uh, we can, for example, we can use information about the player. You can find them you can Google. You can find the online information and and, uh, and uh, put it into the game, and you will play like yourself. And uh, what platforms actually uh, it's, are you it's thinking of, of consoles or being thinking no, of mobile? No, no, it's uh, it's it's, it's anything. We, no, we don't need special platforms. We we can use uh, your iOS, your mobile phones, or Android. You can use PC. You can use Mac. It's we just we have uh, uh, we have our tools for every uh, possible uh, uh, platform. So, um, what are you? As I guess you had a vision about seven years ago. What uh, that vision? Probably you. I will tell you what. Uh, the vision is very simple. We, if I spend eight hours a day, and like probably everyone here spending six, eight hours a day watching the screen, uh, then it means half of my life. It means half of events of my life happening on screen, mm -hmm. not in physical space. It means half of the content. In the world, in five, ten years, will be screen live content, not camera. 
because camera what you will you what you will uh, uh, what you will catch what you will there's nothing happening people just sitting and typing or typing uh, uh, or surfing in com computer and there is nothing interesting happening in the physical world but what's happened on the screen is much more uh, attractive much more important for for human beings today it means half of the content of the world in five years will be screen life content but now it's like i don't know zero zero point one percent which means yeah. this market will grow you think uh, a screen life could be also used on platforms or uh, video platforms like uh, yeah Netflix and uh, sony whatever uh, playstation whatever. doesn't matter it doesn't matter because it's about uh about real uh, it's very relatable we immediately understand like when you see the bible mm -hmm. uh, on this language with this language you see people laughing they're laughing because they immediately uh, recognize the their own behavior they understand everything it's like they're like a, like a fresh air, you know, like traditional movie, it's a boring, long visual effects. It's just, it's the same, every movie is the same. And this is something, oh my God, this is how I live. Like it's, it's the reaction, mm -hmm. uh, what I hear. Uh, people, people reacting very emotionally on screen life content because they feel, oh my God, this is how I live, how, how I spend mm -hmm. half of my day today, where my, where it's how I said I love you first time. I didn't. Uh, uh, I didn't climb with the flowers on the balcony like Romeo. I probably sent the message and uh, said, "I love you." No, I, I, I see that. I see that when when uh, when you're uh, doing films, no, using this technique like uh, searching or unfriended, um, they their movies told through the through the screen of a, of a device. But uh, when when you go with uh, with interaction, then the audience can participate uh, to, and here there's like always this deal about how much control do I give the yeah. the audience, no? Yeah, yeah. What's your experience on that? Uh, what does work better, to give more more uh, power or more control to the audience or the less, coming from uh, from uh, I, a I, cinematic I, honestly, background? Honestly, I don't have an answer. I, I really believe, I really believe there's two different animals. Uh, uh, storytelling and, and, and games, interactive. interactive. It's very different. Uh, it, but it could be used. For example, we're producing the game about the uh, gambler, uh, the game movie about the. It's called Gambler. It's about the guy addicted to play online poker, and he spent all his money and his family money to play poker, uh, uh, online poker. And uh, and what we what we created now. Uh, it will be a movie, but in the middle of the movie there is a game, and you will really play the game. It will be we will use the engine of the existing game. And that affects the story. We know when you will lose. <laughs> <laughs> we can we can we can we can feel uh, we can feel the 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 the, the player the the viewer, <laughs> and we can uh, feel when it's a time for him to lose, and we can because cards you know you can you can put any card, uh, uh, but but. The viewer will have 100% feeling that he's a part of the story. It's a, it's a, uh, when, it's when I, what I'm just, your, your, your question is, uh, my answer is that uh, we can put games inside the story. Mm -hmm. It's a one possibility, like yeah. organically. Or, uh, for example, Quest, it's easy. Like the, the movie profile I made, there is a, uh, story when she when the, when the journalist uh, uh, investigating and there is a f lot of folders on her screen and the secrets could be in these folders this and in the movie you just we can watch without you, you're following her story but also when the movie finished you can go back and try to find answers why it's happened you know you know the story you know the end but you don't know how it's happened and you can just go and find the answers why she made this decision or that decision I mean, honestly, I'm just telling you the truth. I have no idea how to make <laughs> games. I mean, I can, if we will sit down and, and, and brainstorm, probably I will be helpful in some, in some point. But uh, uh, pro, uh, people uh, from game world will find their own uh, thousands of solutions how to do it. And the most important, this game could be produced by without 50 people mm -hmm. designing and uh, and 3D, whatever, creating 3D models and rendering and you need Unreal and you need that. It's just too complicated. We, 
and, and less relatable and too crowded. Like, like the, probably, I don't know how many hundreds of companies here producing the same shit. Mm -hmm. And we have a very different approach. And every person, with a talented person with a with, with the talent to tell stories and to create this game uh, strategies can uh, make it uh, in a few days and, and at home it will cost zero like it really it, this, this game could really cost zero it's, it's just, very cost effective it's, it's yeah it's it, and it's relatable it's more engaging because it's how we live see that. it's cheap because you don't you need nothing you need just your computer and and I mean some knowledge how to how to use it and uh, another uh, uh, huge advantage uh, because it's uh, our reporter uh, it's all elements has a properties it could be targeted like the, the the girl will play one one version of the game and the boy in moscow will play a very different version of the game and we can target we can uh, make it uh, um, uh, how to say it, specific for for every player mm -hmm. automatically we don't need to uh, oh, that's amazing because it's because it's it's very it's very uh, native for 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 the screen mm -hmm. because the screen adapted and also there's a huge uh, 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 possibility uh, to 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 monetize the games mm -hmm. because when you see the screens Probably, as we know, there is a screen full of advertisement. Yeah? Like every screen, CNN, whatever screen you open, there is a banners, there are some links. And, uh, and we can, because of with using our, our, technology, our tools, we can easily uh, make these banners replaceable, for, for, I mean, targeted, targeted, targeted mm -hmm. for every viewer. It means our, our, uh, our uh, uh, First of all, our viewings, yeah, mm -hmm. our how it's called? Pr in print, imprints, yeah, yeah? Imprint. Uh, is uh, much more expensive because it's specific. Uh, second is uh, because we we have a, all the properties are there. You can not only watch, you can click. For example, if the character buying some some I don't know game, uh, some other game, yeah, like uh, I don't know the, the, the character, then the viewer can buy too. In this case, we are selling yeah. leads, not just imprints, mm -hmm. leads or even purchases. You know, in this case, they they, if you will create the game, like let's say a casual game uh, about somebody is uh, some. I mean, just sorry, I'm improvising. The game about some girls, uh, I don't know, uh, trying to find the the um, uh, 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 I don't know an online store to find some secret magic. Uh, I don't know makeup to make her look beautiful to like age her back <laughs> and then then you can just literally make a game about the character going on the real website with the uh, real and buy and buy some stuff and the audience will follow her uh, and will buy and uh, either what she bought or something else but you are part of the uh, you we can easily uh, monetize, monetize the space the, 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 the all the elements mm -hmm. Digging a little, uh, digging deep uh, um, on, in, on your website, I've seen that there's already people uh, using the screen live and sharing their experiences. Um, so I guess there's already a community around screen live. How how's that community? Is it, we is believe it growing. Uh, 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 yes. Uh, how how strong is that? Uh, what I, what I learned, it's growing. We we just launching our platform with a, it called screen lifer it's a like a website with when we uh um, when we're telling stories like news and reviews about our screen life uh, behavior uh it's very interesting to read welcome screenlifer.com screen lifer like new yorker mm -hmm. and uh and and what i learned that we it, we what we do is not the, just business it's it's kind of mission. Mm -hmm. Sorry for for such a uh, big word, <laughs> am, ambitious, yeah, uh, uh, word. But it's a mission because the physical physical space, like where we live, in our world, is uh, very ha has a long history of uh, thinking uh, of uh, uh, reflecting. Like we, we we have a morality, we have a religions, we have a we have a lot of like we don't know 
the, uh, we know the rules, like what's good, what's bad, taboos. It's created by thousands of years of the history of, 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 mm -hmm. of, of human beings. Uh, and, uh, but the digital space have no rules, mm -hmm. has no morality, has no, uh, 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 ref like we, we don't know what does mean the family in, 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 in online, because husband and wife has a different mailboxes and never, like different Facebook accounts, they, 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 they never, uh, how to say, they don't have, like family doesn't exist. And uh, uh, for example, the countries doesn't exist because there is no, there is no <laughs> borders and 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 uh, there is no morality. There is no good and evil. People hate each other and nobody understands how much I can. Uh, people can lie and nobody feels like it's it's a problem. People can steal uh, 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 other people, uh, whatever movies or <laughs> like the, uh, uh, the privacy. It means this the the, the digital world has no. Uh, trust, you know, like what we created historically. And we created the, the rules, a moral code, uh, uh, our society, only because we told stories. It's not because somebody wrote the rules, like a, don't mm -hmm. <laughs> kill some, don't kill the guy. No, th there was a long story about somebody killed and then five years later his family member was killed too, and, and you, you cry, everyone cries reading about it, like Romeo and Juliet. P people loved each other, but the families were, were uh, fighting. And then they die, and then parents said, well, we'll never fight again, because we don't want, because it was so painful. And the story, storytelling, it's the only way how we can create the, uh, the tr new trust, the, the online, the tr trust for online, for digital world, mm -hmm. and uh, it's what we're doing. It's why we're successful. Why everybody, everyone wants, to, why everyone love laughing when mm -hmm. we see, they see the uh, when they uh, they yeah, picking the suitable partner for Adam, and everyone's laughing here because it's funny, like how the uh, I don't know elephant could be a partner for for Adam. It's 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 and and laughing means uh, our neuro neuro links. Just, just creating. Like we learn. Oh, we we cannot we cannot make a mistake uh, in this situation. I, I just believe that uh, we have a mission, and our mission is to humanize digital space. Nice. Well, um, there's no no more not a lot of time left. Uh, so if it's okay for you, I guess there's people here that might have questions that they would like to um, ask you. So here we have someone. Could we um, give him a It's clear. Microphone? There's no questions. <laughs> yes. We have, we have two, one here and the other one I have here. My own, I have my own mic here. So, <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to leave them. Oh, please. No, no, you <laughs> you no, burn no, it. No, no, no. <laughs> okay. Uh, hello. Um, well, first of all, uh, I've known you for Nightwatch and Daywatch, so thanks. That they were great movies. Um, Thinking about what your journey as a, as, as a storyteller has been, what do you think um, were the, the easier things to adapt or harder things that you've exp uh, encountered uh, going from the passive filmmaking for the, for the viewer, you know, um, moving into this more uh, interactive space? Because I think uh, if you have something as you that someone as you that have done so many movies maybe your your mind is fixed in some way um for narrating stuff in in certain way so how 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 have you find uh, this along your journey uh you know even even traditional filmmaking uh i expecting the reaction you know I don't hear because the movie is done; it's yeah. already in, in, in on, on screens. And but I still think, oh, people will laugh at this moment, and I'm waiting for this. And uh, or I expect that people will jump; it will be jump scare. And uh, I, expect, I, I I'm waiting for this moment, but I don't, I never heard it. And this is a possibility for me, not only show but also to. To, to get people's reaction. Uh, the, if you will watch movie, for example, uh, 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 Unfriended, uh, 
it's what I heard many times. People trying to grab the mouse and stop <laughs> or, or click, they, 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 if they're really engaged, they are trying to interact. It's a, what we never had a chance to give them this uh, uh, t tools, but now we have. And I think the movie, this question is still very valuable. I, I mean, very difficult. I don't understand. And it's very about, it's about taste. It's about the uh, case by case. When and how much we should l let people play with the content. Because uh, uh, my, as a filmmaker, I want people to be, to be <laughs> hypnotized for 90 minutes. And, uh, and I don't want them to mess around. Yeah, to wake up. But uh, even traditional movies, if you will uh, remember, you are uh, watching five, seven, whatever minutes. And then there is something happening, like people laughing, and you wake up, in any case. Yeah. Like, we are waking up. We are not dreaming 90 minutes. Uh, it's impossible. We are uh, good movies. It's when you, when you are totally in the story, and suddenly there is a moment when you can breathe and, and wake up, see there is an audience laughing or crying, like Titanic, whatever, people crying around you. And you, you should wake up. Uh, recognize where you are and then uh, go again. You cannot be 90 minutes in the movie. And this is a probably, this is exactly the right, uh, right uh, uh, I would say, uh, uh, measurement. Yeah, like, we need just to try and to figure out how, when, like when you're watching this uh, Bible story, for two minutes, you are understand the language. You are inside. You're laughing, and then suddenly they, we give you a, cho uh, a chance to to choose. And it's 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 just it's like in the, the in in the in the in the, in the theater the same thing. Like when suddenly we are we have a dialogue, and and there is a in, in traditional theater, I can turn and say something to the audience, and the audience uh, uh, will react somehow, and then we continue. There is a fourth wall. It's, we can compare with the theater, by the way. It's a very, very uh, uh, correct uh, comparison. The, the, there are the two types of theater, with the fourth world and without fourth world. With the fourth world theater, it's a Stanislavski, when you, when you leave in, this, uh, in, in, in the story, pretending there is no audience. Uh, and the, another, at, some, at some point, actors turn and they communicate with the audience, and, and audience... Uh, 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 Reacting, probably this is a, sometimes in the in, when we're kids, then it's even more when the when the actor is going. What do you think, kids? Where are the where are the wolves? Yeah. It's here, here. <laughs> the, we're trying to involve audience more, and so this is what the Screen Life gives us. And also a little tiny one, um, if you could pick from any IP. Uh, I know, I know that Night you. Watch. Nightwatch. Nightwatch is a perfect <laughs> for screen life because yeah. in today's world, Nightwatch, uh, the the night the, the dark ones and light ones, mm -hmm. they will fight online. I mean, it's, yeah. it's, well, we we will call it uh, how it's called. It calls uh, the war, the new type of war. What they call, how they call it? Uh, not a uh, hybrid war. War. It will be hybrid war between Nightwatch and Daywatch, and I, I believe there's the best, the because uh, it's it's the best material for screen life movie. Thank you. Yes. More questions? Uh, one question here. Um, please. When we are presented with different options in video games, uh, it's more important that different kind of experiences, like if I choose path A, this I will see these things, and I will and, well. These things will present to me, but if I choose path B, the other thing is more important: the experiences or the resolution of the paths I choose in this kind of games. Uh, uh, yes, it's it's exactly like in in physical world. Screen life is the same as a traditional. Like, let's compare. Like, for example, you are in Counter Strike, or I don't know, you're, you're with a gun running through the uh, village in Mid Middle East, and you can shoot the guy, or you can you can just run, or you can stop and hide. It's a cho it's a choice. Uh, you want to win. You want to survive. The same thing in the screen life. You're you are with a character, 
uh, 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 trying to, like, let me explain it as simple, like, I don't know. Uh, you on your computer, the game, let's just, we just, let's create the game now. You on your computer, just, I don't know, wake up, password, open the, uh, 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 see, you see your desktop, and suddenly, like, trying to talk to your bo friend, girlfriend, and suddenly, you see second mouse appeared. <laughs> and second mouse starts deleting your files. <laughs> and you try to, and you understand the second, and you say what is happening, and then there are notifications saying to you, uh, you, you're dead, I will fucking delete <laughs> everything what you have. No, like you cannot save your life anymore. Your Facebook account is like <laughs> literally deleted. And, and then your files, your photos of your dog, whatever, your friends are going to trash. And then he's the trash and trying to uh, clean the trash. And then you, what you do, you try, you will try to stop. And it's an action movie. It's an action movie. You'll try to stop. You will try to find the I don't know what uh, uh, some uh, antivirus, whatever, some protection. You'll try to understand. You'll call your friend. Say, what do you mean? What's happening? There is a mouse, and he said, yeah, it's a mouse on my computer too. What I don't know what's happening. Let's fight together. And then you will figure out the somebody will send you like a mentor traditionally in movie like superhero. Somebody will send you the your friend will send you the message. Please uh, uh, put everything in the basket in in, the, in a folder x x x and 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 keep it safe. Or you should delete. You should select the mouse and 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 then there is the rules will be explained, and then it will be action movie on 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 your desktop when you try to save your life because your life is your data, your 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 uh, favorites, your friends, your address address book, your photos. Your this is a, this is an action movie. I'm, I'm sure, I guarantee you, the people will play this as, as involved as uh, Counter-Strike because they understand it really well. You don't need to explain them the rules. They understand the rules, you know. Mm -hmm. This is a game probably should make, I don't know. <laughs> one, one last question, Timur, if yes. I'm allowed. Um, if I create a story of it, if I create an experience on a screen live, um, how is this experience going to be distributed? How it will reach the audience? And, and how does Screen Life make money out of it? And how me as a creator or us as creators are going to be able to, to make a sustainable mm, business there? Uh, I th it's the same way as a traditional gaming, as I know. There's a few models. One, <coughs> you people should buy. Second, people should play for free, but there is a, some, like in the, in the story, what we just discussed uh, about some, the second mouse, uh, uh, let's call this game, uh, you, you should buy some antiviruses, you should buy some device, uh, some tools to protect yourself, and it, you can be monetized by uh, selling some, um, uh, whatever, saving, save, save uh, whatever saving your your life whatever device it could you can sell out oh, i don't know how to i don't know how to call it in, in gaming like when you're selling right. the bullets whatever <laughs> in-app oh. purchases no? yeah in-app purchases yes, in -app. In -app. and uh it could be monetized this way uh, and the most interesting uh solution uh, the screen full of as i said every screen traditional screen my screen full of uh, um, uh brands like every, on your desktop, for example, let's talk about desktop. You have a lot of uh, applications, and every application uh, needs marketing, needs to promotion, and, and you can put there. Or on the website, there's a lot of banners. It, 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 any banner could be uh, could be linked with the real world. There is no there is no there is no dividing whatever. There is no wall between f f f uh, 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 fictional created by you, the game, and the real internet. In this case, you can literally link your uh, banners, your uh, elements with the, with the real world and, 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 and monetize link, uh, leads or purchases. This is a, a, a probably, uh, and also probably there is another way uh, because your behavior is very, very useful for for developers of, of different uh, programs, you can sell uh, uh, data. You can sell the, the, the. You can collect the behaviors, whatever, how people behave, and you can sell the data, uh, big data. 
and it's all feasible. And maybe you know ma ma many other ways to, to <laughs> monetize. I can think about a, a few, I think. Um, any other questions? No? Okay, so thank you very much, Timur, thank for you. bringing us uh, this wonderful vision of a screen life. Thank you.